Um, good morning, everybody. Well, um, as you've uh, as you've heard, I'm part of the inception committee of the Berry Development Team. And, and first, I want to explain why it's called an inception committee. You know? um, before, we, what we did was try to get information from society so that we could come up with a rating system. But I believe um, a lot of Filipino just doesn't seem to, uh, doesn't want really to write much, no. And uh, what we did is form an exception committee so that we could create a framework, and from there we could start commenting on on the rating system itself, no. Um, I work in an uh, an engineering consultancy firm called GHD. It's a multidisciplinary t um, company. And uh, we volunteered to help out with the, help out Chris and the Philippine Green Building Council in order to come up with this framework. I'm a mechanical engineer by profession, and uh, I see a lot of architects here. And uh, it's high time that we engineers and architects and the rest of society, the rest of the um, in other engineering trades, no, start to work together. Okay. What I'm trying, I'm gonna show you right now is basically where are we with Berde? Actually, when I go around and uh, people would ask me, how is your Berde? Okay. So it's, it's, I believe a lot of people is already waiting for the Berde rating system. I believe a lot of people are here right now because we are already aware that we need to go green, particularly in the construction industry. And we've, we've heard over and over again that at around 40% of the emissions come from the building sector. Okay, basically we've gone through a lot, uh, a series of workshop in, uh, within the team so that we could come up with the the rating system framework. And as you can see in your screen right now, <coughs> it would seem that there are a lot of parameters that need to be considered in the bear the rating system. You know? um, and this is the reason, uh, this is the reason be behind this is because we need to go into details right now in order to get, get our rating system very effectively. And we looked into uh, the, the triple bottom line in order to come up with this kind of rating system. So there, there's a total of 11 parameters that need to be complied in the rating system. Now, bear in mind that these are all in the preliminary level, and at the end of this presentation, we, I would discuss to you on the commenting of this rating system. Some of these parameters may need to be combined with each of the, 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 the other parameters, or we may even need to add another parameter so that we could cover the triple bottom line of, the, uh, of, of, the, of sustainability. Now here is, um, after a series of workshops, we, we ended up with this pie chart on what we foresee that, that needs to be focused in, in, in the Berger rating system. And like other rating systems, energy is the top of the list because it's always correlated with emissions, which is also correlated with climate change. And if you, if you could look at also the pie chart under management, it's 15%. I agree with uh, Mr. Matias here that the passive way is the, the first thing that we should do with um, co complying with sustainability issues, no? And the, the most passive way is fixing our ways of managing things. So management went, went into 15%. And of course, there's land, transportation, and so on and so forth. And there's also an ish, uh, a parameter for heritage conservation. That it, let me tell you a bit of a story. Um, when I, I toured Intramuros um, a few years back, no? And I met this guy called Carlos Seldran. I don't know if you all encountered Carlos Seldran. And he defined the Filipinos as halo halo. Okay? For the for the foreigners here or expats in here, halo halo means mix mix. Okay? Okay. It's a it's a delicacy, it's a dessert delicacy wherein we put all of the sweet things in, in, in a glass and we just mix it with milk. Okay? So we are we are we are uh, we are a, we are a, a re, we are a, a citizens of halo halo um, halo halo influences. We have 300 years of the Spanish. We have 40 years of the Americans. Five years with the Japanese, and a lot of mo a lot more influences. No? Oh, not to mention the Chinese. <laughs> All right. So we put into account also heritage conservation. No? Okay. How did we come about with this um, uh, framework? 
Now, we, we started looking to a neutral, we first started to look into a neutral ground for us to, to base our, our rating system. Because we don't want to just grab something from LEED, we don't want to grab something from BRIEM, we don't want to grab something from Green Star, and so on and so forth. And of course, the most neutral, neutral thing that we could get is something from the United Nations. So we, we went into the United Nations Commission Sustainability Development, and they have a checklist, a list of indicators covering the social environment, social, economic, environmental aspects. And, um, and from this checklist, we were able to come up with um, the said framework. No, Actually, the checklist is, is, has a long, a long list. If we were going to comply everything, we might not be able to finish everything. No, So we, this checklist has been all tabulated, and we concentrated more on the building sector. OK. Using this checklist, we we look in also into the other rating systems, popular rating systems around the globe, no? like LEED, BRIEM, GreenMark, JBI, and Green Star, And we matched each of the parameters of the said rating system to this checklist. We just want to know which, of this, which, which parameters of the existing rating system um, answers to the checklist of the United Nations CSD checklist. All right? The reason for this is for us not to reinvent the wheel. Okay? We need not go from square one in order to come up with a rating system. There might be something from BRIAM or LEED that we may already use. The next is we match those, that checklist with the, the, the laws and codes that we have. Actually, this is all still a work in progress. And dami po natin batas. And uh, actually, if you're going to go through your, through your kits in the CD, there's a partial list of laws in, already in there. And actually, it would take time for us to review that. But we need also to review that. Why? Because that is where our baseline is going to be. We first have to comply with our laws before we go green. And also, we also want to look into the present building, the present building code. As we all know, that building code hasn't been changed, I think, no? for the last, what, 20 years or 30 years. And, and that is something that we have to look into, put into account. Also, we, want, we also looked into the professional organization codes like the PSME code, PEC code, and so on and so forth, no? and match that with the CSD, UN CSD checklist. Okay, now, now after doing those t tabulations, we went into looking into the building life cycle. We need to green each of the life cycle, each, each of the stages of the building life cycle, which is conception, design, construction, operation, and end of life. Okay, so imagine that our, the bear, we foresee that bear the rating system will, from the start of the construction, will already consider the end of life of the building. Okay, the reason for this is um, we want the building itself to last longer, not get some more resources to create a new building. 